welcome back to my channel it has been a hot minute you guys now before we get into anything i just want to say i'm using a new camera so if you see me kind of like looking off to the side over here i'm looking at myself in the viewfinder so please forgive me because i'm still getting used to the whole looking down the lens into your soul thing which actually is really weird if you think about it because it's literally my job like i do shoots photo shoots, video shoots, I have to look into the camera. So it's weird that whenever I'm vlogging and doing it by myself, I can't help but look at the viewfinder instead of looking into the camera. Okay, but anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tabitha and I'm so excited that you clicked on this video and decided to catch up with all of us. It has been a while. Things have started going back to normal. COVID kind of doesn't exist anymore, which is great for me because work has been ramping up. So I have been hella busy. I've done so many shoots, uh, so much performances have come back as well. And I'm really excited, really happy about it because we've had like a downtime of two years, two and a half years of not really doing any work. And so it feels nice to get back into the swing of things. I feel almost back to normal which is great but vlogging has taken a hit because of that um, because when I'm like you know working or if I'm on shoot or whatever I focus on the task at hand so vlogging kind of has to take a back seat because it takes up my time if I'm trying to vlog but then I'm also trying to like do work that I'm getting paid for so it's a whole thing I still haven't really worked out you know how to finesse that yet but I think it's going to take some time. However, with that said, I do have quite a few things to catch you guys up on. I actually have another shoot right after this that I need to go and do. So I thought I'd just do my makeup uh, for that shoot and then talk you through some of the recent stuff that's happened, but also something super exciting that Louie and I are going to be doing in three days time. I will get to that a little bit later. But first, let's just start with my makeup. Um, yeah, so I've done my base. I'm just going to spray my face with the Preserve the Serve One Size Mist. Oh, it smells so good. All right, while I'm getting into the makeup, let's talk about the massive elephant in the room, which is my hair color. <laughs> <laughs> if you have been a viewer from the start of my whole vlogging process, um, you would have seen me go through three different hair colors now. And it's so weird because I haven't been a brunette in about... Because if I think about it, the last time I was a brunette was when I was 16. That was definitely more than 10 years ago, I can tell you that. I just decided that I wanted to go with a hair color that was less maintenance um, because I've started playing a lot of tennis now and I've noticed that with the red hair, if I wash my hair, it gets faded super quick, which means that I have to keep, you know, with the color depositing shampoos and masks and it's just a whole thing. Just a lot of work and I've been doing it for more than 10 years and I was just like, I want something that's easy, that's going to look good. Let's just go back to brunette. My stylist was not happy about it. I had to do quite a bit of convincing because he was like, we've already worked so hard to get your hair to such a light color, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like the color? I've gotten quite a bit of compliments from people saying that they actually prefer me with this hair color as opposed to any other hair color that I've done, which says a lot because I've been blonde, I've been silver, redhead, pink hair, literally everything under the sun. Also, if you're hearing any snoring, that's Deepa and Delilah. They're just literally on the other side of this bed on the floor sleeping. Um, and I didn't want to move them out of the room. So I was like, you guys can stay here. It's fine. I'm just using this Fenty Beauty foundation. I will actually put all of the products that I used in the description bar below. So if you want to have a look, um, it'll be easier that way instead of me just having to come in every now and then and tell you what it is. Like I said, things have been back to normal, which is absolutely great for me a lot more um photo shoots happening um two of which i'll share with you in this little catch-up that we're having right now the first one is a la Ficiel shoot and so they reached out to me and they were like hey we want to do like an interview but also we want you to 
be photographed and do an editorial shoot. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Totally game. It was a really fun shoot. I liked the outfits that they put me in. I think the pink dress was super, super cute. Um, but it was really funny because the pink dress had like a bodysuit on the inside and I didn't really know what the hell was going on because you can't really tell. Like the dress, when it wasn't on the body, was like this thin. So it really stretches out quite a bit, but it was this thin and I had no idea. I was like, are you sure I can fit into this dress? <laughs> I haven't used this foundation in a long time and I'm only remembering now just how full coverage this foundation is. So one of the more exciting things that Louis and I got to do was a cruise. It was a media cruise. So basically myself, Louis, and a lot of other people from the press, or maybe they were celebrities or influencers or whatever, they all got invited to go on this cruise. And Louis had never been on a cruise before. Okay, I would say I've never been on a proper cruise either because the first cruise that I went on was a party cruise. Oh my gosh, and I don't know if you've ever been on a party cruise before, but it is definitely... It is not a normal cruise. Yeah, so it was only two days, one night, so we wouldn't be too long away from the animals, and we just kind of wanted a cute little break for, for the two of us. I mean, I will say this though, I would go, if we were to do this again, I would go a little bit longer, maybe four days, three nights, Definitely not longer than that, but also, and I think this is the most important part here, is that you have to go with a big group of friends. Because I feel like you only have so many things that you can do on a boat, because eventually, you're gonna do all of it, and then you won't really have much left to do after that. So the makeup I'm doing is not going to be anything too crazy. I just kind of want to keep it as a no makeup makeup kind of look. Okay, so this next shoot that I want to tell you guys about, Super super cute because Louis got to do the shoot with me and this is actually the second time that we've done a shoot together But this is for a pretty big magazine. It's for Vogue Singapore and It was so much fun I knew that it was gonna be really easy to shoot with Lou because we are just so natural and comfortable with each other that it would be fine, you know, if there was a camera there and so I know that he was a little bit nervous, so the days leading up to it, he kept saying, oh, you know, I'm not sure if I know how to pose and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, don't overthink it. It'll be fine. And turns out it was fine. They wanted to showcase a couple that was in love and, you know, we're in love, I would like to think. <laughs> it, was, it was a really good shoot. I thought it came out really, really well. Seeing the clips, um, that was a little sneak peek there. I cannot wait to see how the photos turn out. As of now, when I'm filming this, the photos haven't come out yet. So I saw this thing on TikTok where they were like, women always have at least three drinks with them. And I just looked over to my left over here and I've got my coffee and I also have my fruit tea and I have a bottle of water as well. Is this true? Do all women just always have three drinks all the time? All right, now I'm gonna go in with blush. I have seen so many people talk about this blush on TikTok and how they don't know how to use it because it's way too pigmented. This tube is gonna last us 25 years. What an investment. Just going to freeze my brows. This is the makeup. Don't know how much you can see because I'm pretty sure I'm overexposed, but... <laughs> Here you go, makeup done. Okay, so now that the makeup's done, I thought I'd just come out here to the lounge and get comfortable and tell you about what's gonna be happening in the next three days. Now this is super, super exciting. Louis and I have tried so hard to keep this quiet and it's really hard actually because the both of us are not great at surprises. So we normally end up spoiling it way before the surprise is supposed to happen. So I'm actually really proud that the two of us have managed to keep our mouths shut this whole time. In three days, we're going to be flying to the UK and we're going to surprise his mom. It's been such a long time since we've seen his mom. And so we think that she's just going to be super emotional about it. So we've been planning it with his mom's partner. I mean, we had to tell somebody, right, that we were going down. We couldn't just rock up suddenly um so his mom's partner has been helping us kind of you know behind the scenes with like 
um, her work days and when she's gonna get off days and things like that and like coming up with a story as to why the spare room needs to be done up before we come down and all this kind of stuff. Now, you're probably thinking, why in the hell are you putting out a YouTube video talking about the surprise before you even do the surprise? Here's the thing. Now that this video is out, we've already done the surprise and hopefully it's gone to plan and it was successful and that video will come out. Um, I'm thinking a week from now. Yeah, this isn't gonna spoil anything even if she sees this video. I'm just really excited. I hope it goes according to plan. If not, you are gonna see it as well. <laughs> I feel like such a sneaky little shit. On this trip as well, uh, we're gonna be going to Denmark so that I can see my mom and my sister because I haven't seen them in three years. And I really thought about surprising them as well, but I think that would have been 10 times harder because first of all, the two of them live in separate cities. So that in itself is already a challenge. And then my sister's a doctor, they've got crazy schedules. So I just had to make sure that everyone was free. And I think for them, it would have been harder to surprise, but that's gonna be fun as well. I'm definitely gonna be vlogging that too. Primarily this trip is obviously to see family, but at the same time, I've got some work that I need to get done there. I've got some sessions that I'm gonna be going for. It's been a while since I've been to a session outside of Actually, no, it's been a while since I've been to a session period that's been in person. This is gonna be interesting because I feel like maybe I've kind of forgotten a little bit about how to be in a session <laughs> with people <laughs> and how to socialize. I feel like I, I definitely can't be the only one that's going through this. I feel like a lot of people probably have social anxiety. Um, I know I definitely do. My passport, ugh. This has got to be the single most ugliest passport photo in all of life and i really have no excuse because i took the photo myself so this is <laughs> this is the passport woo -woo. this is my new one um and i'm gonna try and cover all of this shit, but this is the passport photo how awful i mean i can't even i don't even know what to say I really have no excuse as well because I took the damn photo myself. Like, I mean, Louis helped me take it, but like, wow. And I have to live with this passport now for 10 years. Looking like, looking, I look pissed for some reason in this picture. I look like, please hurry up, take the photo. I am done with life. That's, that is, that's what this says to me. Damn. All right, so I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here. That's pretty much all I wanted to catch you guys up on. And I'm definitely gonna be vlogging while I'm away. So I'm pretty sure I've already got another video lined up for exactly a week from now. And that will be the surprise video as well as um, our travel video. I am so glad to have been able to catch up with you guys. Thank you so much for watching the entire video and sticking around with me. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, like, leave a comment like it literally takes just one second for you but it makes a huge difference for me and what i'm trying to do here on this channel um also something really exciting i'm you know obviously doing all of these youtube videos at the moment and i'm not getting monetized but i went to look at the data and statistics um two days ago and realized that i'm actually really close to getting monetized so i feel like i've got a new like lease on life with this whole youtube thing i'm really motivated now to get a bunch more videos out and so any way in which you guys can help me out would be great um again thank you so much for watching this vlog i will see you in the next one be kind to yourselves and be kind to each other sending lots of love